I built this device you see here to capture images on a glow-in-the-dark surface. It works by projecting an image through an enlarger lens onto a transparent surface covered in glow paint. It would take a couple minutes to get enough light to create a glowing image. Then, I would close off the lens on the front and capture the glowing image with a DSLR that was mounted to the back of the device. After experimenting with this for a while, I decided to try capturing the image with a DSLR while it was being projected by the lens on the front. My hope was to replicate a large format look in the images. The glow-in-the-dark material was not needed for this, so I ditched that and built image planes using other materials. Even with this yellow translucent material, it's possible to achieve an accurately colored image by adjusting the color temperature and tint digitally. Each different plane offers different textures and effects. Here are some example images. After that, I decided to apply this concept to a pinhole camera and in this case, a very large format pinhole camera. I bought this laser drilled pinhole off eBay. It's attached to the front of the cardboard box and the imaging plane is located on the other end. It is made from plasticky translucent paper that is intended for use in scrapbooks. On the far side is my DSLR to capture the image. In direct sun, a five minute exposure is needed. Here are some sample images. As you can see, they have a really cool vintage-ish effect, however I was hoping for a bit more sharpness. This was a fun project to mess around with pseudo large format photography. Thanks for watching, bye.